So now to finish out this new lip that we place here, I'm using body filler to fill in this seam, which is quite frankly, let me back up a little, very minuscule, but uh, we really want this car to be absolutely perfect. So as you can see here, that'll be filled in, smoothed out, and it'll be just like it was made right into the firewall. So next up are these covers that we're going to weld in to fill in these cowl vents permanently and then smooth this whole thing out. That will eliminate a known problem with Mustangs where they rust and with the vintage air system uh, it doesn't use outside air anyway. So this is a wonderful thing to do and it will look very very slick. So the next step in taking care of this was to cut all the little uh, grills out of these uh, different areas and then I can get in there with POR 15 and seal this whole thing up so that it will never ever be a problem. Uh, of course there won't be any water getting to it but you never know. The welding's done and I just put reinforced filler and pushed it down into all the seam areas uh, before I put normal body filler. This has got fiberglass uh, resin and, and strands in it so it's extremely strong. Looks good. Well, here's the uh, first 2K primer coat, and boy do I like the way this looks. Mm-mm. Smooth, slick, and clean. All right, we just took the windshield out, and I have spent several hours going over uh, the entire area to make sure that we don't have any rust anywhere, and the great news is this, uh, not a spot of rust under this windshield. So once I got all the old rubber, sealer, primer, paint, and everything out of there, She's ready now for some great epoxy primer to make sure she never does rust. And this whole engine bay area has been done with polyester primer, which is essentially a form of liquid body filler that sands out real well. It's about the base, it's about like shooting three or four levels of primer. And so I'm going to do one last nice coat of black epoxy primer so that uh, while we're doing the motor installation and batteries, people can touch things and oils and greases or anything like that won't be a problem because that'll get sanded lightly, cleaned, and then there'll be a sealer and paint. And here we have the epoxy primer. This will be the last epoxy primer layer I do. It covers any and all bare metal that I exposed in the final few sandings and all around the windshield. You zoom in there, it looks really nice, clean. All the pins are in great shape. All right, now it's time to start figuring out how to mount those monster motors in here. <laughs>